Hello to everyone in Gambier Island Estates. This is a beautiful May long weekend and Fireman Bill and Gord are going to attempt to make a video of how to run our uh, fire pumps. Uh, this probably is not going to go viral, but uh, we'll do our best. So here's uh, our fire connection and there are four of these and each of these in one way or the other is almost the same items. So you have your pump, uh, you have your hose, you have extra gas, you have uh, priming water if you choose to prime the pump that way, and you have intake hose for both fresh water and salt water, which we can explain later. And then I will, what you do is you go to the green box, open it up, and there, in there, this is the uh, water for the fire pump. And th there is often a cap in here, which is really difficult to undo, so I, I've put a something like that and then the intake hose goes uh, connects on here and I'll show you in a second how that works. We'll talk a little bit about the intake hose. This is the intake hose for if we're using the water connection like you can see back here and if you have to use salt water down at the, at the, at the dock then you would add this to this connection by doing this and then this goes in the salt water. This keeps it off the bottom, that makes it hang down. And then this goes onto the pump. When the pump's going full tilt, we'll only suction the water up uh, to a height of 20 to 26 feet. So if you're at the salt water, you make this connection, the salt water connection, and it can only lift for 26 feet, but it can push 126 feet. So we can easily get to the houses uh, on the uphill side of the road uh, with, with plenty of pressure. The preferred source of uh, water is in the fresh water and I'll show you now how to connect that up at the connection set. Okay, that's got it. Your hose should be fairly straight before you set it up with the machine. To quickly go over the connections, this is the intake. So the, this, this goes from our water source to there, clipped on, it's not easy. Okay, and this is the out, outtake. This is where the water comes out. This goes like that, okay. Then you turn the electrical part of things on. This is the uh, throttle, uh, this is the choke. It's a bit confusing. This is the gas. So the choke is off at this position. The gas is off at this position. This should be at about the middle to start it. It can be that that's full, that's off. That's about the middle position. And this is the you know, starter cable. Um, and we'll demonstrate uh, getting started after we've primed the pump. Right, there's a couple of ways of priming the pump, which you have to do before you start it. One way is to open this port, and it's a plastic screw that is, is very problematic. You gotta be careful you don't cross the threads, because if you cross the threads and this leaks, and the same with the exit one, if it leaks, then your, your pump is shot. So my preference actually is not to use this. And again, you have to be really careful when you put this thing on that it doesn't thread. Uh, but you could use this water in there. But my preference is to hook this up first. And then come back to the water source here. And very slowly, just add water to prime it a little bit by opening this until that fills. And so before we start it, we want to put the water fully on. And so we will turn this on, which is is, it's on. The throttle is in about that position. This is choke off, so you put the choke on. The gas needs to go on. Uh, and then as soon as it starts, you move this. some variability to it so you can almost turn it off and then you can turn it on. That, that was, I don't know what 
that is 50 feet, 60 feet, and then it'll give you a spray if you want it. So when you put the fire out and you're finished with the pump, and you disconnect the hose like so, and, and there may be pressure in it, so you just leave it. If it's on a downhill slope, the water will run out. This one, I hope, is not that bad, but it might squirt. No, it's okay. So down below this, and this is, well, this is important if you're gonna leave it for any length of time. You've got to empty this, and if it's been in salt water, you have to run fresh water through it before you empty it. So you turn this here, which is again a very finicky, and you let and you tip it and let everything run out. We have left them over a month, and that water gets so rusted you can't believe it. So make sure it's done. This is very finicky. It's also care. You got to very carefully put it in there. Don't strip it, and then leave these leave these open, and uh, it'll it'll dry out. Turn the, this to the off position. It's already there. Um, you turn the throttle uh, to low. This is high throttle. Uh, you turn the gas off and you can leave the choke where it is. Okay, well, I hope that this was somewhat informative. Uh, I'm sure we've made a mistake. If there are any questions, phone Gord because he's great at editing and he'll fix it for you. Thank you. Good night.